Greetings and salutations. My name is JW608. Today I am playing Star Mate. We're here at the uh, the CCC, the cargo container container, and you notice it is containerless. It's because I flung them out into the void of space. Because these old containers aren't particularly useful to me anymore, because as I discussed yesterday, they weren't designed particularly well. Particularly, I've found I've uh, learned a new word, particularly. Uh, especially with the uh, the system we have now. So we are going to fix that. We are going to do a oh, uh, 608 con mark 2. That's just the name of our prototype here. Alright. Top and build mode. Which way is this way's front? Right, we need to make some decisions before we get going. Uh, first of all, I designed this system so I guess there's a little wiggle room, but I want to have the docking module center, centered on it. So it'll come, it'll dock here. So I want a docking module, and it needs a trace to the right, rail on right, yeah, to the right for this to work. Okay. So from this point, this is the center of the ship. So we're going to set up some... Some of these, and we're going to build us a skeleton. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The putting four on each side makes it nine by nine, which is the size we want for our our um, cargo container. It's nine by nine by seventeen. So we need to take this one out and put a um, wedge here, there, there, there. Take this one out. And do similarly, and a tetra. I think that's a tetra. Now we can move the scaffolding because I don't need it anymore. And wedge, wedge, wedge. There's my wedge. Hmm, that is awful inset. Uh, we're gonna leave it. We're gonna work around that. Okay. And. Uh, Except I want it to be, what, 17, except there's already a block there, and I'm going to put another one at the end of it, so 16. 16, or 15, I'm sorry. 15 plus 1 is 16, plus 1 is 17, so that should be 17 blocks long. We will measure that right now. 16, 17. Putting it on that, and it comes out even. All right, so that is really 17. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to undo. There we go. And reset my symmetry. Okay. And let's we'll see. Da, 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 da. Come on, spin to the proper way round. There we go. And spin right round. Right round. There we go. All right, now I have my framework. Now that we have the framework, we can then start adding important stuff. One of the main complaints I had with the um, the last model was, how do you get to the core? And I said, oh, I, I don't know. So I built the core here. I'm going to have a little inset section, and I don't need those for the time being. Inset section, let's see. I want an activation module. Wait a minute. This comes in and goes done. Done. And two. I want this to be one, two, and this will be even with the floor. Okay. That there, and and we're gonna put an activation module there-ish. If you come up even with the floor, you can walk up and you can still see that is a button, not an activation module. That is still a button. That is still a button. Now it's an activation module. So now you can turn on and off the pulling from the outside of the container, which is what I wanted. And we'll put a gray block there for fun. Okay. Now I have that set up. Let's put our symmetry back on. That's not the button I wanted. And let's fill in our sides. 
Uh, slabs, slabs. That's going to be what? One, two, three, five by, I don't know. Fifteen? Except I want them like that. Okay. Check, make sure that did all the same, because it... Slabs used to mirror, oddly. Alright, and I want that to go up by nine itself, except not really nine. Actually, let's try five, because there's a symmetry plane in them involved. And like that. Okay. And we're going to need one of these up front. So no Z, five, five. Have it inset and take those out so we can see our our uh, important bits there. All right, what are you? Oh, that's from the okay. Except that actually should not be that deep. Three setting. There we go. All right, that's more like it. And one for back here. Your server is under a heavy load, except you don't have a server, you're playing single player. Well, I understand, it's uh, uh, basically a server with just me on it, but still. Alright, I'm going to cut a hole here, and try spinning this the proper way around, filling in this hole. Okay, now we have a box that you can actually get into and use this time. Uh, let's try like that. Come on, I can't see. I should have had symmetry on for this. To live and learn. Oh, there. Two, three. All right. So now you can access this button to turn on and off cargo pull, you can access the core, and you can access the uh, the actual cargo doohickey here. Okay, make sure that is tied to that, so when we are, if we are pulling, which we will need to be doing, it will pull from here, and if we're pushing, it will push from there. Alright, uh, we're going to turn on the lighting mode. It's all red. And we're going to lay down some power. Power in a uh, in a um, hold on. There we go. Am I moving? I'm moving. Stop that. Okay. Power in a cargo container? Are you crazy? Yes, yes, I am. Uh, the idea is actually I want thruster modules, so we're going to stick these up here. Why do I want thruster modules? Well, I explained this last time I built this, but more hurt explaining it again, that um, I want to be able to move without needing a tugboat or something of that nature, and that's way too much power for this. But I'll live. Now what is my thrust anyway? Um, thrust is 60. Max speed's 85. Uh, we'll just bump it up just a little there. In fact, take out these wedges and make them a little more decorative. See, a little more decorative. And just turn them into thrusters. Okay. Uh, what else do we need for a cargo container? We need cargo. Okay. How tall is that? That should be what? Four tall, not 14. Six. Okay. So we're going to just fill this with cargo containers, and uh, our cargo storage plug. What are these things called? Cargo space. There we go. All right. Just fill this up. And fill that up as well. Okay, except this time... Oh. I left room. We need to check to see how much space these are actually going to provide. And we can do that by going here. It's 58. Can I get it to 60? 
Uh, see, that's four tall, so we're going to change it to four. Should probably be like counting these. Uh, why are you doing it like this? Well, I kind of want an aisle way, so in case it's full when I have to, I can I can get to the core and to all these um, controls from the back if I need to. Okay. Or from the inside. 63. That's not bad. And we need a door. Door. Let's scroll up and grab some Plex door. Clear my search thing, otherwise I'm going to be looking for something and say, why isn't anything listed? It's because you have search on. Uh, how tall is that? It's four wide. Or four wide. Four uh, wide vertically. There we go. Tall. Turn off lighten mode. Get rid of that extra power. I guess I could. There. Could throw one of those there. That's uh, not interfering with anything. Okay, I like that. And set the symmetry. Make sure you are attached to that. And all these are... Cargo space kind of connected. Oh. Yeah, and all these are connected to the cargo. Okay. I hit this Plex store in front of the cargo selected. I didn't actually have the cargo thing selected. That's why we got that error. All right. I think we're about ready to call this a cargo container. Uh, tomorrow, we will add my 608 signature back to it and see how it interfaces with the uh, CCC. All right, I've been JW608, this has been StarMade, and I will dig you cats later.